Hey guys, Emerald Morrow here with 10 News. I have the coolest story to share with you all. Let me turn this around. Let me take the attention off of me and we are gonna put it on this guy right here. Congratulations, you are holding your associate's degree. Let's see that. Turn it around, it's upside down. And you are just, tell me how old you are. 11. 11 years old and you have a degree you graduated from college today tell us how you're feeling right now quite excited <laughs> quite excited give me more you gotta you gotta have some emotions and some other things going through your mind right well it's just all like really crazy but you know I, I managed to do this you know you managed to do this now you have plans to do what with your career and your life well after this I'm going to be going to USF University of Southern Florida, and then to get, to get my bachelor's, and then after that I'm going to have to go to somewhere like University of Florida for an astrophysics degree for my master's and uh, doctorate. That is so amazing. Now tell me, you want to be an astrophysicist, and why do you want to do that? I want to be an astrophysicist because I want to prove that God is real to the world through science. That is an amazing thing and I know that you're going to do great. I am so very proud of you. Talk to me a bit about your background. So your dad tells me that you were um, speaking before you were one. You were talking in complete sentences and you learned like languages. You learned the alphabet in several different languages. Like tell me all about that. Well yeah, I was, I was speaking sentences at seven months old. I I was doing, uh, uh, what was it? I forget what I was going to say. Dang it. <laughs> I, I was speaking sentences at seven months old. I learned to read and write before I was two. I could do multiplication when I was three, division, or er, multiplication at two, division at three, and algebra at four, and I taught myself, um, trigonometry on the internet when I was seven. How did you do that? You, did you just decide, like, I want to learn trigonometry today and just decided, <laughs> hey, I'm going to just teach myself? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then at you finished high school at what age? I graduated high school at nine, but as I was doing that, I had been taking college classes since I was eight. Since you were eight, and then you graduated with a pretty amazing GPA as well. Three, three, correct? Uh, 3-8? 3-3-8. 3-3-8. Awesome. That is just so wonderful. I know Dad doesn't really want to do too much talking, but Mom, would you want to come over and talk a little uh, bit? No. No? You. Okay. All right. The parents are just awesome and have done some amazing things with this child. And William, we are all so proud of you. Tell us what it was like um, going to college with everybody who is like twice your age. Well... At, at first it was definitely different, but you get used to it. And what helped you get used to it? Just being them around them for a while and, you know, them treating you like an actual person. <laughs> yes, of course. And one of the things that you said earlier when we did our interview is that we talked about what it was like for you to be a genius. And one of the things you said was that everybody kind of has their own genius. Talk about that. Yeah, everybody has their own genius. I, I I have my genius in astrophysics and all that. Other people might have gen their genius in other things, like art or sports. Absolutely, but I mean, to have that talent at such a young age is so awesome, and you're getting so much love. What would you say to other kids out there who are like, I want to be just like him? Live your dreams. Live your dreams. That's awesome. And for the people who are just joining us, tell them what your dream is again. I want to prove to the world that God does exist through science. And why did you become so interested in science? Well, I just always liked astronomy and all that from since I was like very tiny. Since you were very tiny, your dad told a story about you being in the car and you guys were talking about all of these Thing, I don't even know what you could be possibly talking about because I don't know too much about astrophysics myself. But, um, you know, you're having this conversation and it 
it, I guess it has to be difficult sometimes for your dad to remember that you're just 11 years old because your mind is so advanced. Do you run into that a lot? <laughs> I mean, I mean, not really. Not really, not really. So what are some of the things that you like to do outside of um, studying astrophysics? Well, I actually like to play video games. Video games, just like a normal kid, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are some of your favorite video games? My, my, one of my favorite video games is a history game. It's called Europa Universalis 4, and it's like an alternate history game. Like, what if the, if this didn't happen, then what? Mm -hmm. That's very cool. All right, so I know you got to get going with your family and all of that, but uh, what else do you want to say to the people who are watching? You got 122 people who are watching you now, and you're getting so many people who are saying congratulations. Good luck. They're wishing you the best. Awesome job. What does it feel like to get so much love from everybody? All I, just, all I, would, all I would want to say is thank you to all those people. Yeah, they're getting, you're getting lots of likes and thumbs ups and hearts and all that good stuff. This is just so awesome. Um, and you said today is your mom's birthday, so this is a great birthday gift. What do you want to say about the job that your parents did in raising you and helping you get here? Well, they did a great job, certainly. They did. They absolutely did. They absolutely did. Anything else you want to say or add? Valerie Warnock says, congratulations. Good luck in your future. Linda Lavender says, we are here with you. Congratulations. Joan Spence says, congratulations, young man. You're awesome. So everybody is showing you lots of love today. Thank you all. Yes, of course. Thank you and congratulations on earning your associate's degree from St. Petersburg College and you are going off to USF in the fall. This is so awesome, so awesome. What are you going to do to celebrate today? What am I going to do to celebrate today? Uh, I'm probably going to spend my mom, pro we're probably going to go to my mom's birthday party. To your mom's birthday party, that's awesome. Someone asked what's next for him and he says that he's going to USF in the fall and he will be studying astrophysics. So thank you so much. I know I don't want to hold you too much longer, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And we wish you the very, very best of luck. And thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. All right. Thanks. All right. All right.